the number one charter elementary and middle school, so we are very proud and it's built up our school culture and it definitely making all of our students to be proud HSA Hawks. At HSA, we consider ourselves a family already. We have monthly PTO meetings and we also do home visits, so this is like a strong suit of our school. They come home, they do um, home visits, so you really know who your students' teachers are. And it actually is nice because it makes you feel comfortable with the staff and then them being able to see you outside of school. It's a very welcoming environment where I feel like people can be themselves. We're very inclusive and we welcome all ideas here and you would get a lot of exposure to new cultures. Our main focus here is to make students choose a pathway. So we have three major pathways at our school. STEM is one pathway, so if a student shows interest in uh, technology, engineering, mathematics, they usually go in the direction of STEM. If a student is showing a liberal arts focus, they can choose like a music, arts, a reading, English, uh, history background, so they can go in a liberal arts pathway. And then we also have um, the public service pathway, which is like lawyers, we have law classes, entrepreneurship, and we have PLTW courses. And they take specific courses that guide them through this. By the time they're out of our school, they should have like an understanding about what career they want to do, or what college they need to go to in order to get into that program. A lot of the high schools in the area have a lot of students, and they really don't get that one-on-one -on -one time with the college counselor. Here, the college counselors really develop that relationship with our students starting in ninth grade all the way to 12th grade, seeing them constantly throughout the years um, to prepare them for the future. We have a great team uh, to prepare them for their SAT. I'm currently enrolled in College Readiness English and College Readiness Math, and they do a good job at preparing me on taking the SAT. They um, are focused on our college prep as well as our future, and I, I feel ready. Last year we had almost $10 million of scholarship at our school. We guide them through the process of scholarships and through choosing the correct path for them. We currently have over 300 students at CYSP. We have over 25 mentors. But we're not only just focusing on their development-wise academically, but we're really helping them and shaping them into well-rounded individuals. We're taking them to different types of projects and trips. We take them to extracurricular activities. We also do group book readings. So we try to develop the students, not just uh, educationally, but physically, mentally, socially, because it's the same group of students who always spend time together with the teacher mentor. Programs like CYSP really help students get experience outside of their neighborhood. We have been to places like New York, we went to Toronto in Canada, we went to Guanajuato in Mexico. One of my favorite memories is our trip to New York that we took a couple years ago. A winter camp that we had with our COISP group, that was just a blast of a time. It's a memory I, I won't forget. It's awarding seeing our students especially do the community service component because it really shows them how to care more just about just that themselves, but about the communities. I think that it really creates a bond between teachers and students and families. It's an opportunity where students can just gain experience in the world. I just like the large variety of programs and um, clubs offered to us students. I'm involved in a lot of activities such as robotics, track, soccer, and a tutor for Cafe Mathe. Currently I'm involved in National Honor Society, my high school robotics team, as well as our student council, the Model UN. I'm involved in robotics, cross country, CISP, National Honor Society, student ambassadors. We offer robotics classes starting third grade to 12th grade. Overall, around 100 students, they are all in robotics program. Our first team, they advanced the world championship. FTC team, one time they advanced the world championship. And then one time, junior FLL, they also advanced the world, uh, world championship. Last year we were the number one elementary slash middle school in the state of Illinois. This year our high school is number eight in terms of a group of maybe 30 charter school high schools across the state. Currently we're ranked the number one charter high school with the top 
SAT math score and number two for the ELA SAT score. And we're not finished. We're going to continue until we're one all across the board and we're one of the Blue Ribbon schools. What we're doing now is trying to get our STEM accreditation. So we're working towards getting STEM certified. I'm just hoping that we help these kids because we're building a better community. I have a three-year-old, so hopefully when those kids are in my position when they're older, they're going to help out my son. So it's all about building well-rounded global citizens. Thank you.